going to make an edible set. Set up straight. The only thing that should be on your desk is your gelatin mold, your organelles, your white card. The GLE standards that we're going to do today are what I point to it. One, two, three. Okay, which cell is this? Cell. 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 How do we know the difference in the animal cell and the plant cell? Tell wrong. Because I think the animal cell is like a square or a circle. Start over. The, uh, the animal cell is like Look at that one. That's a circle. Okay. The animal cell is round. Keep going. The animal cell. The plant. The plant is um, like a box. Okay, it's kind of rectangular. What else? How else are they different? Seth? The um, plant has a cell wall and the animal cell plasma. Yes, the plant cell has a what? Plant cell, 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 wall. cell wall and the animal cell does not. What else the plant cell has that the animal cell does not have? Jared? It starts with a C. Yes, ma'am. Chloroplast. Good, Nadia. Chloroplast. Now, this is our agenda. We're going to do a bell ringer. And then we're going to do the edible animal cell lesson. Today, we're only going to focus on the animal cell. We're going to review organelles, identify the organelle parts, identify their jobs, study the jobs and the parts, construct an animal, uh, edible animal cell, and I'm going to administer a short quiz after we finish, identifying the parts and the functions. And then we're going to have a closure. This is your bell ring. You're going to read the question, and then you're going to start, write the answer. Just write the letter of the answer. Read the question, and just write the letter of the answer. Take your card, turn your card over. And write your name on your card. Uh, LaMarca, read the question. Which arrow indicates the location of the cell membrane? You have A, B, C, and D. Which one points to the cell membrane, LaMarca? The one that points to the cell membrane is C. Very good. Look at yours and see if you have C. Don't erase. Circle and then put the right answer. Now, LaMarca, why is that the cell membrane? Because the cell membrane is the outer layer of the cell. Mm -hmm. What is the function of the cell membrane? What does it do? It keeps the cell in whole and intact. Yes, it keeps it intact. It surrounds it and it keeps the parts intact. What would happen if, we didn't have a, if the cell didn't have a cell membrane? It will fall apart. It will fall apart. Good, it could fall apart. I'm going to get your cards. Now we're going to review the organelles, the parts of the cell. Now, you have the nucleus, the Golgi body, the lysosome, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the vacuole, the cell membrane, mitochondria, ribosome, and cytoplasm. Now, our GLE is to identify the parts. All of the parts of the animal cell and the plant cell you're not going to necessarily have to memorize all of them. But there's some that are very important for you to know, like the nucleus. The nucleus is the control center. So the nucleus is one we're going to have to, because I, you're not going to remember all of them, but there are some that's important. Like the nucleus, the cell membrane, the mitochondria, the cytoplasma. Those we're going to really focus on. 
Now, which one is this one? Mitochondria. What is that one? It's the nucleus. Those are important. Now, the plant cell differ in, it has a cell wall and a chloroplast, and the animal cell doesn't have those. Remember? Now, remember the chloroplast, we said, is why the leaves are green, and that's where what takes place? That process. What is that process called, Seth? Mm. Remember? The water mixes with the chlorophyll and... And what is that process that takes place in the leaves? Mm. Elizabeth, it starts with a P. Physical, physical change? No. Tyrone? P-H. Take a picture. Photo. Photo. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. That's where photosynthesis takes place. And the uh, chloroplast. And remember, the cell wall is the outer part of the cell what? Right. It's the outer, outer of the cell membrane. Good. Now, the first part now we're going to look at is the nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of the cell that controls the functions and houses the chromosomes. Now, in your packet, the person that has the packet, take out the page and give everybody one. We're going to use this to uh, place our organelles in that spot. Find the nucleus. You see what the nucleus is? Okay. Now, everybody has... These are our organelles. Everybody has their organelles. Now, why are we using these, George? These organelles. Because what are we doing? Right, we're making a what? What kind? What kind? What was the word I said before that? No. Edible. 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 What? Edible. 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 Now, what does edible mean, Jerry? Eat it. Right, we're going to eat it. Now, I don't want you to. Your name is at the bottom of your gelatin cup. Our ingredients for the edible cell you have a gelatin cup and you have a bag of your organelles. What do you have? Now, the gelatin cup. What does the gelatin cup represent? Which part, shh, which part of our cell does the gelatin cup represent? Let me see. Raymond. Which part? Think about it. Sound like you're saying it. Say it again. Side toe. Say it again. Plasma. Cytoplasma. That's the cytoplasma. So what's the gelatin? The cytoplasma. Now, you see what the cytoplasma is on your card? Put a check by. Put gelatin cup. That's your, your jello cup. In the square, when it says cytoplasma, you're going to put jello cup. Gelatin is like the cytoplasma. That encloses our organelles. Now, in your bag, open your bag. For the nucleus, we're using the gumbo. Find the gumbo. That's the nucleus. Now, the nucleus is, let's read it, one, two, three. The control center of the cell that controls the function and houses the chromosome. That's the gumbo. Put it in that square with gelatin where it says uh, nucleus. Put your gumbo. That's your nucleus. What is your nucleus? Just like a nucleus. Now, how is it similar to a nucleus? Um, Kylie, how is that similar to the nucleus? Why are we using the gumball for the nucleus? Round, small, because 
when I first looked at this activity, I'm like, what am I going to use for the parts? So we need to use something that looks like it, right? Because we're making a what? Right. And what is it going to be? A model. We're making a model of the cell. So we're using that for the nucleus. And what is the nucleus? Again, the control center of the cell that controls the function and how it's grown. Now, look at number two. Say Golgi body. Golgi body. Our Golgi body, it packages the proteins and carbohydrates into the vessels. Now, um, look in your bag. Now, these are, this is the Golgi apparatus. This is the Golgi body. I want you to look in your bag, look at your bag, and see what could be, which of our edible parts could be the Golgi body. Let me see. Jalen, <coughs> fall in the bag. Fall in the Because when I did it at home, mine was, uh, <laughs> Put the gumball back. Now the other one, which one you think will be the um, goji body? Which mm. Jared? Yes, that's the goji body. We're going to put this where it says goji body. Now, what's the goji body again? One, two, three. Packages, proteins, and carbohydrates into the vegetables. Now, uh, when we look at these jobs, all of that stuff packages proteins and carbohydrates into vegetables. That is not anything that, it might not make sense to you, but you know what proteins are. What are proteins? Proteins are something that we have in our bodies that is something that we need for daily life. Now carbohydrates, now in the, the age of people trying to be thin, they try not to eat a whole lot of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are what you get when you eat like potatoes. And those kind of, that kind of food is high in carbohydrates. And french fries, that's what kind of food that is. That's fatty food. But that's what carbohydrates are. A potato gives you carbohydrates. But the smoothie are. The smoothie are. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum. What you think it is, Jared? Jared, quick. Smooth is smooth. It's the worm that's smooth. It's the gummy worm that's smooth. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Say that word. Smooth. Smooth endoplasmic, endoplasmic reticulum. Reticulum. Now I don't expect you to remember that. That's why when we learned it initially, we said smooth ER. One, two, three. Regulates the release of calcium ions and processes toxins. What is toxin? We've seen that word before. Camera. Try, try, try. Toxin. Think of toxin. So we have to burn something that goes through something. Okay, that's a good try, Jared. Is it dangerous like toxin waste? Yes, it's dangerous. Okay. So toxins, this helps to get rid of toxins in our bodies. Now, let's go to the next one. What's after that? The rough ER, the rough in the plasma particular. So if that one was the smooth, find the rough. That's the gummy worm that has all the little sugar around it. I want to give you all that one. That's the one with have the little sugar around. Now let's read that one. One, two, three. Provide, Provide translation of proteins and ribosomes near, near the nucleus. Now in the picture of the cell, when you see that, look at your picture of the cell at the bottom. You see where the smooth and rough in the platinum is particular are? They're right next to the nucleus. So that helps you remember the location of them. Now, let's see what it does, what the vacuole does. The vacuole, remember the plant cell, what's the difference in the one of the plant cell and the animal cell? The one of the plant cell is what? Remember? Yes, it was different sizes. How different was it? The animal cell was bigger than Which one was larger? 
The plant said it was very large. One, two, three. It stores nutrients. That's the job of the vacuole. Now, in the animal cell, it's smaller. The plant cell was larger, was a lot larger. Why do you think the size was different, um, Elijah? Why do you think the size was different in the plant cell, the animal cell, the vacuole? Look at what he does. Why was it different, you think, Jacoby? Okay, could be. Because of the storage? So maybe a plant cell needs more storage? What's the next one? The cell membrane. The cell membrane. Can we have a part for the cell membrane? No. Think about the cell membrane, what it does. It surrounds it. We don't have a part for that. That would be, look at your gelatin cup. What would be our cell membrane? Right, the cup itself. So put the, the cup outside of the cytoplasm. What does the cell membrane do? One, two, three. That's the cell membrane. We don't have a part in our bag. Now, let's see. The cell membrane has an important job because it makes sure everything stays in. And it protects. It's for protection. Now, look at your bag. Look at your bag. What do you think is the mitochondria? Mm -hmm. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the hot tamale. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Main mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. is to perform mm -hmm. cell mm -hmm. breaking mm -hmm. down nutrients and turn it into what? Mm -hmm. Energy. That's why we call the mitochondria the powerhouse. Because it is where it produces energy. Energy is produced there in the mitochondria. Now, that's what it looks like. This is what the cross section of the mitochondria looks like. And it functions in ATP. You see that word? When you get to biology in high school, you will see that word again. Ribosome. Now, you should know what the ribosomes are. Right, that's the little, uh, the sprinkles. Put your little sprinkles where it says ribosome. Now, you don't have to put all of them. You can put one or two. Now, what's the job of the ribosome? Makes protein needed for many cell functions. I didn't say one, two, three. I'm going to say it. One, two, three. Makes protein needed for many cell functions as repairing damage to cells. Now, the ribosomes are very important because it functions in helping repair damage. And that's vital to a cell. That's your ribosome. Now the cytoplasma is the gelatin cup. Do you have anything else in your bag? No. That's all of the parts? Yes, sir. Okay, now, you need to listen. You need to watch me. You're going to check your gelatin cup. I didn't say do it yet. Watch me, Seth. Watch me. You're not watching. There's a lift tab. You're going to lift it back. When I tell you to do so, now, this is where we're going to put our parts. Before you do that, we've cleaned our hands earlier, but I want you to clean your hands again. Get your cups and lift your tab. We're going to start with the nucleus. Now, take your nucleus. Now, those parts are the very first ones. Where do you think you should put your nucleus? In the middle. Okay, in the middle. Push it down in the middle. Keep your top on. Don't take your top off. Push it down. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Because you got to do it. Push it down, mommy. What's our next part? The goji body. Goji body. Goji body. Now, put your goji body somewhere. And I will stick it in. In the bottom left. Right. This straight up and push it down. Stand it straight up. Use the paper towel. The next part is the 
Lies on. Now get your lies on. Stand it straight up and push it down in. Stand it straight up and push it down. Get your lies on. Look at your chart. Get your lies on. And push it down. Push it all the way down there. Push it down. Any way you want to say it. The smooth the R. Get your smooth the R. Now you smooth the R is kind of big. So push that to the corner and push it down. Now what's after you smooth the R? Your rough. Put your rough kind of side up. You're smooth because they're close together. Put your rough and you're smooth. Side by side. Around. Now, after we put the rough ER, what's next? Push the vacuum on the other side. Put the mitochondria in. That's the regular. Now, remember when uh, we were looking at the mitochondria? Why do you think I chose something hot for, I mean red for the mitochondria? Because of the energy. Good, Jalen. Because it produces energy. So I was thinking about something hot for that. Ribosomes are the what? Put your sprinkles in. Put your sprinkles in. Now you can just put your sprinkles and put them at the top. Just sprinkle them across the top. Just take your bag and just pour the sprinkles on the top. <laughs> it looks good enough to eat, right? In your bag. Uh, um, I want you to take out your activity. The person that has the bag, take out your activity. First activity you're doing is um, native to your what your activity is. Like somebody's doing fine fiction, somebody's doing fan and pick, somebody does some. Another group is doing quiz, quiz trade, another group is doing mix and match, and another group is doing rally robin. I want you to look at your directions for your activity, find your directions, and get started. The person that has the bag, raise the direction. You take time putting in the word, and you take time. And then the same thing, y'all take time. You do one, then he do one. You do one, and then she do one. You take time, because y'all do one. And then y'all gotta find the fiction. Y'all gotta find the fiction. Oh, that's true. The vacuum produces enzymes. Find the vacuum and see. Stop working. Put your pieces back inside of the bag. Now keep up. This page, take this page. Keep out this page. Now, this is going to be for you, so put your name. This has all your parts and all of their jobs. Look at the first one. Number it, number one. What is it? Nucleus. The nucleus. Put your name Jared, read the nucleus. The control center of the cell that controls the function and how the chromosome. Right, the nucleus. It houses the chromosome. It's the control center. So the two things you need to remember about the nucleus are what? It's the control center and it houses the what? Chromosome. chromosome. Go to the next one. Hold your body. Number two. Call it. Carbohydrates into vesicles. What's the two things you need to remember? Proteins, carbohydrates. Underline that. Proteins, carbohydrates. I'm giving you keywords you need to remember with that part. What is that? What's this organelle? Hold your body. Say it again. Hold your body. That's number two. Number one is the nucleus. You should have a one by number by the nucleus and a number two by the Golgi body. Look at the next one. Last song. Jalen. Particles and viruses. What we need to remember? Operates like stomach. Underline operates like stomach. That's number three. Operates like stomach. Rough ER. I'm sorry, smooth ER. 
Kylie? Regulates. Regulates. Regulates I am. What should we underline? Regulates. Calcium. Processes toxins. Good job. Rafi R. Brianna. Provides Underline provides um, translation. Translation of proteins. Proteins. Proteins and ribosome. Ribosome near the nucleus. Near the nucleus. And near the nucleus. Back to old Lamarca. <coughs> Stores nutrients and waste products help to increase cell size during growth. Stores nutrients. Increase cell size. Stores nutrients, increase cell size. Uh, cell membrane. Y'all know what she would remember. What, what should we underline? Surround, protect. Control the cell. The cell. Surround, protects the cell. Mitochondria. What we need to remember? The powerhouse. It's called the powerhouse because its job is to do what? Produce what? Energy. Energy. Ribosome. Makes protein needed for many cell functions and repair damage. Underline makes protein, repair damage. Makes protein, repair damage. And the last was cytoplasma. Gel-like substance. <coughs> Houses the organelles. And I'm going to give you about two minutes to look at the cell at the bottom. Look at the cell at the bottom to, to recall the location of the parts. To recall the location of the parts. Now, what you can do is match your numbers with your organelles at the bottom, your cell parts at the bottom. Number one is the what? Nucleus. Put a number one by your nucleus at the bottom. What's number two? Golgi bodies. Put a number two by Golgi bodies. Hurry up. Number three. Lysome. Uh, put a number three by Lysome. Four. Smooth the earth. Five. Rocky earth. Hurry up. One, two, three, four, five. Hurry up and do those. One is nucleus, two is Golgi bodies, three is Lysome, four is smooth earth. Five is rough yard. Six. Vacuole. Vacuole. Put a six by vacuole. Cell membrane. Six. Cell seven. membrane seven. Mitochondria. Eight. Eight. Ribosome. Nine. Nine. And cytoplasma. Ten. 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 Wow. You're going to do your quiz in a minute, but I want you to do this first. We were going to use an index card, but instead of passing out index cards, you're going to put this on the back. Now, write two sentences about how the animal cell and the plant cells are different on the back of your paper. Write two sentences. Write this question. Write this question and answer it. Write two sentences about how the animal cell and the plant cell are different. Write that question and answer it. How many sentences are you writing? Two. What does the sentence start with? A capital letter. What does it end with? A period. Uh, period. Punctuation. A period. You're writing sentences, so it ends with a period. Think about it. We talked about it. We've already looked at the plant cell. The first sentence. One way. The plant cell and the animal cell are different. Good job. One way they're different is. When you're finished, raise your hand. I'm about to take the paper and give you a clear. The people I read to, I'm going to read to you in a minute. Now I'm going to rearrange y'all. Y'all did a good job with this lesson. I'm going to finish giving out the quizzes. And um, just take your minds and put it on finding the parts of the sale and answer the questions.
We did everything that you need for the quiz. I'm going to move some people around and we're going to get started.